The first cases were detected at more or less the same time in the UK and in Italy at the end of January. Then it really took off here. Now, one of the early medical papers which I've read says that the reason it was so bad in this area, it points to two things. First, lockdown was too late. In other parts of Italy, they locked down very promptly and did much better. The other thing was about doctors on the front line, not in hospitals, but GPs. They saw many COVID patients and didn't know about the disease. They didn't know how dangerous it was. They didn't wear protection. And that may have been like a sort of feedback loop. Then there was the issue of sports. Now, they had a game zero. They had a football match. Many people were thought to have been affected. But, you know, that was three weeks before we held the Cheltenham Gold Cup. So you do wonder whether Britain was looking here at all. Now they're in lockdown. Maybe there are more lessons, particularly when it comes to the issue of wearing face masks. The children are no longer cooped up. The piazza's no longer deserted. Restaurateurs are preparing for Monday when they hope the government will give them the go-ahead to reopen. But think back six weeks. Army trucks taking the dead away because the hospital morgues were overflowing. Silvia Vanelli, supervising the ICU in a Bergamo hospital at the height of the crisis, engaged in a desperate struggle to keep her patients alive. Today, she can take the occasional break. <laughs> she even laughs again. But this isn't over. Hai paura di tutto, ma non ho paura del del virus, ho paura Ho paura, ho paura del, del domani, nel senso che non sai, non sai, quello che dicevamo prima, che eh, tornerà, non tornerà, come saremo tra tre mesi, come saremo tra eh, quando inizierà la stagione invernale. Ancora. Grandparents, mothers, fathers, half of Italy's dead come from the northern region of Lombardy, some 5,000 of them from this province, Bergamo. The virus took hold here about a month before the UK, which then repeated many of the same mistakes. So why was Bergamo so much worse hit than the rest of Italy, than the rest of Europe? That's what people here are trying to figure out now. And although they're much better prepared, until they truly understand it, there's a great fear of a second wave. Ciao Pietro! Ida and Renato, both in their early 70s, were looking forward to their 50th wedding anniversary. But they died within a week of each other in March. È terribile. L'unica cosa che, ci abbia, che abbiamo adesso è il convivere con questo dolore. Non passerà mai. Non passerà mai. E ogni volta che li penso piango. In teoria. Quando dovresti pensare a una persona che è scomparsa, magari una risata ti viene per ricordare i bei momenti. Adesso è impossibile. È impossibile. Questa dalla mamma, tutti, mamma, la mia mamma non ce l'ha più. Di, è così. Questa del papà l'ha passata in ospedale. Diego thinks the local authorities locked down too late. Sono morto un sacco di persone perché gli altri hanno sottovalutato il, il problema. Cioè, alla fine, un po' tutti all'inizio, è un'influenza, non è un'influenza. As the virus spread in February, Bergamo fans attended a football match and local businesses released a video to reassure foreign export partners that the risk of infection was low. Some people say that it was the businesses who pushed for a delay in the lockdown, and that's one of the reasons it was so bad here. I have to say that uh, we have been uh, very responsive of that, uh, because uh, even before the lockdown phase, we have closed much more of the businesses than uh, the uh, order for the government were saying. We as businesses, the higher concern we have is 
uh, of a possible second wave of epidemic, uh, a second lockdown that would be an absolute disaster and nobody could survive that. So to avoid a second wave, everyone must wear a mask in public. A lesson maybe for the UK. A good advice to be uh, respect uh, the mask. Some of the distance is important and uh, the cover. The mask. So the mask, the because mask. some people say the mask is no, not worth it. The mask is it. very useful. Where in uh, South Korea, I think, they, they used mask and they, were, they, they had a very, very, very low uh, incidence of uh, COVID disease. So it's uh, very important. Now is a time for music and for mourning and for trying to learn from the tragedy that befell one of the most advanced and prosperous parts of Europe. <laughs>